Salete omnes, hodie SDAs, Martis, today is Tuesday, Mars erat deus bellorum, armarorum, Mars erat iratissimus deus, Mars erat pater romuli et reini. Quis erat Mars? So he's the god of war, bellorum, weapons, armor, armorarum, um, father of Romulus and Remus, pater Romuli et Remi, and he's a very angry god, right? Eratissimus Deus. If you have any phrases that you want to add to the um, speeches for not just Mars, but for any god um, that we talk about, like send me a thing. Like I'll give you extra credit. It'll be cool. Okay. Um, so our quote of the day today, we've had it time and time again. You guys know it like it's the back of your hand. Um, it's probably, I don't know, it's our go-to, right? Senatus, populusque Romanus, the Senate and the people of Rome. I picked this quote because we are talking about the Roman Forum. We're talking about, um, you know, the kind of political structure a little bit with all the senatores at the um, dedication of the Arch of Titus. Um, we're also, um, the word populi is a vocabulary word. So, um, yeah, I just thought what better time and there's nothing wrong with having, uh, you know, repeating words. It only makes us know them stronger. Something I was just typing I wanted to share with you guys is um, even today they still use SPQR in Rome. I'm going to share my screen. So if you look it up, it's mostly public works, which is fun because it's also what the Romans um, would have done. They would have emblazoned SPQR on all of their public works. And so if you ever go to Italy, um, you'll find that especially the older sewer grates will be emblazoned with SPQR. And so it's kind of fun. Like you see this remnant. Um, let's see if we can find something that doesn't say sewer, right? That could be kind of nice. Let's just do Rome. It's kind of cool because it's like you see the remnants of like the ancient world going in to the modern world, right? This is actually right here. This is from the Arch of Titus. So the Senatus Populusque Romanus, this in fact is, you know, high and mighty inscribed on the top of the Arch of Titus. So that's another reason that it's good to remember this quote, right? Because, you know, we're learning about the political structure. We're getting into that stuff. The Arch of Titus has it. It's one of the best ones, it has a vocab word. Um, Mary Beard has a book titled it. I'm trying to find some, I know there's mostly a lot of sewers. Let's see if we can find, let's see. Maybe the construction. Yeah, it seems like it is mostly sewers today. I'm sure they have like another phrase for like public works. Manhole covers, that's another one. Um, It's a lot of these like metal gratings in Rome. I don't know. I just think it's kind of cool. Like, how neat is it that they have SPQR on their sewers even today? Ooh, this one's cool. This is a neat manhole cover. Looks like it's just a painting, but it looks like maybe it's inspired by something real. I like that it's in the corners. Anyway, if you find one that you really like, you know, add it to the Google Classroom, link it in, you know, if you put the Google link in our um, classroom page, that'd be fun. Okay, so let's take a look at our WAP. So today, um, Martis, I want you guys to watch, I know Khan Academy, like whatever, but it's a really good video about the Arch of Titus. And then um, I'm going to give you guys a quick lesson about purpose clauses and stuff. So if you click on that, You'll get to the Arch of Titus. Ooh, Khan Academy. Sassy piano. I know the voices are kind of monotone. I just think it's a really good video. Take the time to watch it. And it is analyzing specifically um, that sculptural frieze that we see 
that we're seeing in our stories right now, the, the very one on um, in our textbooks, I think it's on page 154, right? We take a look, we see, you know, the spoils of Jerusalem being brought into the city of Rome. Right, we see, it's kind of great. I love the coins because it really shows you like what the person looked like. But overall, it's it's a great monument. It's a great one to learn about. And I think it's important for you guys to watch this video. So please do. Um, yeah, and so that is it for this video. Hop into the next one to learn a little bit more about purpose clauses. And yeah, what we're going to be doing today in relation to reviewing purpose clauses. It is a new way of doing it. So I hope that you're interested um, in exploring it more. Voila!